Okay. Let's check this room here. You dead yet? He said yes. That's how crawlers say yes. They go... In case you guys didn't know that. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Raven Nurse Time. I'm an old guy, gaming, and we are going to do the Tier 4 Asylum uh, for our second Tier 4 quest. So I decided, you know, to choose a very gentle, pleasant-looking um, POI to do for our, our, our Tier 4. Uh, and this is going to go smooth. Nothing bad's going to happen at all, and it's just going to be a walk in the park, okay? And if you uh, buy that... I have some property for sale, oceanfront that is, here in Colorado that uh, I'll sell you. So just, you know, call me after the show. Anyway, <laughs> uh, right before I started this recording, I pulled up here and we, we just got attacked by a whole bunch of mobs. Um, some of them came out of that building. Some of them came out of here. And it was just nuts. I mean, I, I was already down to half health before we even started the quest. So I, I, things have calmed down on that front. But as soon as we, you know, press this uh, exclamation mark, it's all going to start over. All right, but let's get going because, uh, it you know, daylight's a-wasting and we, we're we going to do this tier four clear. Here we go. Okay, so um, let's see here. we got a bunch of zombos that are going to be in the yard that are going to rush us first. This is going to be a great place for me to come back later and harvest uh, bones and guts and stuff like that. Oh, my God. Look at how many Zeeks are here, man. There's just red dots all over the place. So we could... We could round them all up and blow them up in one fell swoop. Uh, the problem with that, though, is we're probably going to have some ferals. And, you know, if we have a bunch of runners, that could get a little difficult. Oh, boy. Okay, so I think what we're going to do is let's just see if we can pull one at a time or a couple at a time without waking up the whole entire yard. Now, we should be okay to stay out on the street here and not get out of range of the quest. Um, so, you know, we can fight everybody out here where we have room to maneuver and whatnot. I hear a snake. Okay. All right. So let's, um, let's do another pull here. What the hell? Oh, this is a great time for a horde to come. For Pete's sake. Stupid Ravenhurst. All right. Well, at least none of them are runners. Let's get them bled up here. We do have a spider monkey. You know what? <laughs> We're waking up the zombies in there, too. Of course we are. Okay, well. Here. Oh, nice. We got a, we got a white. Get out of here. Did not invite you to my party at all, homie. Oh, shit. We might have to get the shotgun out for this. And we got birds. And we got Feral Ronald McDonald. Oh, oh, shit. Here comes a greenie. You're a runner. Go down. Shit, shit, shit. Good thing we put a rad remover on this, huh? Now you're running, Edgar. Holy shit. Okay, that took care of several of them. All right, let's reload our auto shotgun. Let's get these guys rounded up here. Ring around the zombie is what we're playing here. <sighs> okay. We're good. We're good. We got this. Do we have our XP? Let's get our XP glasses on. What the hell? I heard a chicken. He's a little bit high for us to get there. Come down here, lady. Oh, 
Okay, well, that's one way to start your second Tier 4 quest in an insane asylum. You know, there's multiple ways to skin a zombie. And uh, there you go. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to coming back here and harvesting all these gut piles because that's going to get us some nice resources. That's kind of creepy. What the hell? She's hanging on to the limb. All right. And this is just the yard, you guys. We haven't even gone inside yet. Let's make sure the yard's actually clear. This would be kind of a cool POI to fix up as a base. It's already got a wall and barbed wire and stuff around it. Okay, let's go around this way. I'm going to go all the way around the perimeter and make sure there's nothing behind here because then we could potentially uh, run back here uh, to get away from Zeke's and stuff if we need to. And the nice thing about this is we don't have to worry about anything from the outside because of the wall and all that. Okay, good. So it's clear all the way on the outside. So we got, what, we're maybe about 6% done with this quest now? Okay, the light's pointing that way. So we go up the ladder. Again, like we did before, we're not going to do any extensive looting until the clearing is done. Okay, this is the place where all the insane people sit down and play checkers and stuff like that. We're going to try and do quiet kills as much as possible. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to unfortunately break this. I hope it doesn't wake anybody up. Okay, we're good. Whew. Okay, so we've got just a normal skater punk there. He is not feral, so let's uh, shoot him in the ass. And in the knee, and in the shoulder, and in the face. Arlene, where did you come from? Well, come on down. It's kind of a compromising position, but, you know, a guy's got to do what a guy's got to do. I apologize for that, Arlene. I'm very sorry. Okay. The other Arlene's got her zombie toes right in our face. That's kind of disgusting. Hey, we got a chest. Hey, we're not supposed to be looting, though. Doesn't have a damn thing in it. All right, our health is at about halfway. Are we hungry? A little bit. Let's have a stew to take care of the hunger and get ourselves a little bit of health back. I think we're going to hang on to those for the moment. We don't need any more of that. We're going to get rid of all this stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm going to throw the feathers out. we got plenty of those back at the base. We are going to keep the spoiled meat, though, because we need that for fertilizer. And we also can make hobo stew with it, too. Okay, let's move in here a little more. There's a, a white over that way. A stairway. That's just a crawler. Okay, it didn't wake the white up. Is it possible for us to get to him with a sneaky sneak attack, or should we just throw a pipe bomb right on his head? Shotgun blast right to the face would be amazing. I don't think we can do this. We got zombos over there, too, that are showing up on the HUD. If we turn this off... All right. That went reasonably well. So we woke up two Zeeks. Oh, shit. That door's locked. Okay, 
Again, not, not going to do any extensive looting. We're just clearing the place for now, and then we can, you know, worry about loot later. Okay, we just walk up two more Zeeks. I think they're both in here. Oh, there's a greenie. Um, yeah, we got a rad remover on our shotgun. We got this. I think the other one's just a crawler. Wait for him to break the door down. And he's going to get it right in the face. You did. Okay. Let's check this room here. You dead yet? He said yes. That's how crawlers say yes. They go... In case you guys didn't know that. There's just a bunch of office rooms in... Ooh, okay, that we're going to check right now. Here, wait, hold on. Let's put our luckies on. We'll check safes, you know, fat loots types of containers right now, but basic stuff... Again, I can come back uh, off camera and just loot all this stuff later, like we'll do at the hostel. This is the smaller asylum. There's a bigger asylum than this? Holy crap, man. Okay, give us something good. Look at that. That's a pretty nice 38 special. Not going to lie. How does it compare to our 9? Um, well, we have to compare them unmodded. Okay, so the compare value does not include modded values, which means that the 9 without any mods is still 10 points better in damage and magazine size and, and rounds per minute and range. Well, yeah, it's, it's just overall a better weapon. Okay, now we know. Uh, but I'm probably hanging on to that, at least for now. Okay. Any more safes behind these desks? I'm not too worried about it becoming nighttime because, again, um, you know, we have the wall around this place, so we probably won't have to worry too much about outside zombos. Um, you know, and then I'm probably going to eat those words here pretty soon. Okay. Well, I'm going to worry. I'll, I'll worry about that stuff later. Okay, so we cleared this room. So far, so good. Um, is there a light directing us where we should be going next? I wasn't really paying attention to that. We got that light there, but these are all just like office rooms, right? So I don't see anything else in here. So I guess we go this way. Now that room is all... Well, is this actually locked? Yeah, that's locked. We got stairs to go up. And we have a door here which is unlocked. So this is the main entryway. All right, no Zeke's over here. Let's go into this other wing. I'm going to check behind these for safes. I should have actually picked that up. You can sell those for like 60 coin. I just didn't, didn't think about it. All right. Okay, so that's a skater punk. He's a runner, but he came by himself, so he didn't bring his buddies. He dead. Okay, so more stairs. Okay, we got a Zeke right here. Oh, you're scary. Where are you going, lady? She never saw us, even though she walked right in front of us. How funny is that, huh? All right. Okay, we got a red dot over there, so something's in that corner. It's an it's an Arlene. Okay, 
Uh, she is not feral. Okay, dispatched. And I think we're clear in this this wing. Okay, cool. Let's check for safes. What do those sell for? Oh, no, they sell for 32. Okay, well, we'll hang on to them for now, but I'll probably end up chucking them to get, make more space because it's just, oh, shit. It's just not really worth it, you know? He did. That's that's a garbage can lid. All right, let's um get rid of that. I don't know what's going to be behind this corner, man. Let's get the shotgun ready. Do 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 do. We got another janitor and another red dot. Okay, let's take care of you. We got a feral janitor off of his head. Okay, let's check at the food. Uh, check the food pile. Okay, thanks for hanging out, Stevie. Really appreciate it. Have a good one, buddy. I still haven't come across a broken stove yet that I can try and fix up to make you know a working stove. Uh, all right, let's look in the trash compactor. Believe it or not, I did find a backpack upgrade in one of these, but it's not meant to be this time. So we'll throw out the wood. I'm not going to check all the cabinets. That's stuff I can do later. All right, let's go this way. So this is unlocked. Oh, it's a bathroom. Those are locked. It's a little suspicious. Wasn't sure if that was feathers or not. Nope, we're good. Uh, we'll check the cabinets for medical. I wouldn't mind finding another bandage. Uh, or even another big first aid kit, because then we could, uh, you know, heal up a little more. I'm trying to conserve these for those really bad oh shit moments. Okay, let's take another one of these. Okay, we're going to drop that, drop that, drop that, and I think we're good. Yeah, okay. Before we go upstairs, there was another door over here, this door. We're not technically supposed to go in here right now, but I'm curious to see what's in here. Oh! There's a downstairs. Okay. Uh, let's, let's save that for later. Let's go upstairs next. Okay, two dots just appeared. All right, we've got a couple dudes down there. That door's locked. All right, what's happening? I'm going to just stay in this corner for a second. If we only woke up a couple, I'm not worried. If we woke up 20, we're running like hell. I actually only see three active Zekers on the compass. All right, let's pull this guy. He's a walker. Okay, he did. Is this other zombie in this room, or... I'm not sure where she's at. Okay, we irritated somebody up here. That's weird. Okay. 
Why did you hit up there? Oh, because you're kind of up off the floor a little bit. All right, we're going to have to take one of these. What you got, Mang? Okay, we'll take the ammo. It just goes upstairs further. It sounds like whoever we've aggroed is actually up above us. What happens if we just... Oh, no. We're not going to do that. Okay. Let's leave them be for now. I'm not going to pick up all the rest of these pictures. In fact, you know what? Let's just get rid of these for now because it's just going to take up too much space. They don't stack. Well, they do if they're the same kind. And... uh we just have to, you know, watch our space. Okay, he's feral. There's a safe. I don't know if that's a zombie over there or if that's a corpse. Of course, technically speaking, zombies are corpses, right? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Okay. She's dead. Love the bleed outs, man. Love the bleed outs. Okay, we got a nurse coming out of there in a moment. I don't know if she's feral or not. Pretty soon it's not going to matter a whole lot because they're all going to be running, but that's okay. We can deal with it as long as it's only a few. Oh, she's feral. Hold still. Let's look in here for something to eat. Not a thing. Okay, we have a walker. Couldn't come out the door here in a second. Come at, come at me. Come at me, bro. -a. Come at me, sis. Okay, we got a hazmat dude there. Okay, he did. Let's hit this safe. That's, yeah, that's a lot of bodies. How's it going, Victor? What's going on, dude? Come on. The way I handle lockpicking in Seven Days to Die is I put one point in it so I can make unlimited lockpicks, and then I just... Make a shitload of lockpicks, and if they break, I complain, and ooh, an M98 sniper rifle. It's a shit level one, but still, that's kind of cool. Let's look at that. I like it. I like it. Um, Does 70 damage. I don't know. We'll have to, we'll have to think about that. For later. We're not going to do anything with it right now, of course. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, And that. We don't need the wood. Okay. Where? Uh, oh, here we go. I was going to say, where's my pipe bombs? We don't want to be without those. Okay, look at this interesting room. So we've got a an infected nurse's aide. Oh yeah, I know who she is. And then we got a feral skater punk. And we got uh it looks like a yo zombie on the floor there. Let's check this bookcase. Okay. 
that will sell for 208. I'm not going to do anything with that stuff. Okay, so this is the feral here. Yeah, we woke them all up. All right, that's fine. We managed to kill all those guys when they didn't touch us. How about that? Lucky. <laughs> we were just lucky. That's all there is to it. All right. What's going on in there? Nothing. Here, let's check the meds. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Uh, I'm going to leave that stuff. Normally I wouldn't, but again, trying to conserve inventory space here. Let's check all of these. Nothing. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, Steve. You really appreciate it. Have a good evening, dude. Uh, yeah, we'll take both of those. Maybe we'll even pop that recog if things get really crazy. Okay, that's it for in here. I'll check those cabinets later. Okay, I guess we go this way. Before we check in those rooms, let's just check down at the end of the hall here. Everybody loaded? You always got to check your guns in this game because it's easy to forget to reload. This looks kind of like the same area as downstairs, but a little different. I just mean from the, there's like a little alcove here and a desk. Give me some first aid bandages, please. No, I don't want that. Okay, so that's it for the end of this hall. Let's check these two rooms here. It's a clear quest, so we got to kill everything. That is unlocked. Yeah, we killed the um, the feral that was in here earlier, right? Because he was trying to break to the wall there, so we're good to go. In that room, anyway. Okay, clear. This is creepy. This is creepy, not gonna lie. That door's locked. Shit. Trying to get quiet kills here. Uh, I can't tell if that's a Zeke or not. So let's pick this up. Poke our head around the corner. There's another hazmat guy right there. I wish I would have brought my uh, night vision, you know. Let's open this. No, we're not going to take those. I think that's the only Zeke over there. can barely see him. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we have some more medicine chests we can, or uh, cabinets or whatever the hell they are, shelves that we can check. Not gonna take that. There's also a, a meth lab thing in Madoodle in the corner there we'll look at too. That we'll take.
There we go. There we go. I might grab those grain alcohols later because you can use them to make the big medikits, but uh, again, something we can loot later. More antibiotics. Beautiful. All right. So let's see. We've got Arlene in there. Again, silent kills as much as we can. Okay, I can't tell from looking through here if there's more zombos in here. So let's just... Oh, yes, there are. We got two hazmats. Uh, neither one of them are feral. All right, let's deal with them. And they're dealt with. All right, let's get this out in case something really nasty jumps out at us. Oh, munitions box. All right, let's see what's in here. That's pretty nice. And we have an MRE, which will give us 25 health. So next time we get banged up really bad, we'll use that. Um, we're not going to take the crossbow bolts, however. Those are easy to make, particularly because they're iron ones anyways. There we go. <laughs> nice. I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's check the medical things. Take the steroids. Leave the rest of it for later. We are also um, encumbered by three slots, so let's get rid of this, that, and this. I believe we want to keep everything else. Okay. Check for safes. Nothing. Okay. So this just goes back down to the other area we passed through earlier, right? Yeah, okay. Is there a third floor in this place? I don't know. All right, this is locked, so let's unlock it. Yep, there's a third floor. Okay, this is going to be fun. Um, We picked up some wooden nails. Man, this is creepy. I mean, oh shit. What the hell? <laughs> it's bad enough that we're doing this asylum tier four in general, right? But we're doing it at nighttime too. Oh, we got a double on that. Very nice. All right, come on. Come to Papa. Big Mama. Fast, big mama. I hear a cop. You coming, Arlene? Stay down. Sounds like someone's run, gonna run up the stairs. Uh, oh yeah. Feral Hawaiian guy. Cut it out. Okay, let's see what we got. Nice. I still I still have my luckies on. Yeah, what the hell? Let's just leave them on. The nerdy glasses are better for like, you know, when we kill a big group of hordies or on horde night, but for this it's not going to make that big of a difference. God, god, it's creepy up here. All right, let's check this for uh an upgrade. Nope. I'm not even going to scrap that. We'll just leave it there for now. Whoever made this POI, they did a good job of making it creepy, man. 
We'll check the cardboard box in the dressers. Replenish some of our nine mils. Because the nine mil is so effective at silent kills, I'm going to be using it a lot with the, um, you know, with the silencer, and we'll probably eventually get pretty decent points in handguns in doing so. That's a lot of grain alcohol, but again, ah, shit, we're going to have to loot it now or it's going to disappear, huh? Okay. Yeah, okay, whatever. It just looks out over the thing. That wasn't creepy at all. No, not in the least. All right, we got... Is this the fat loots? There's a lot of loot here, but we haven't killed all the Zeke yet. Um... Let's check these dressers first. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to open all that stuff, but I'm not going to loot it until later, like we did at the other place. Unless it's really, really valuable. So let's start with the safe here. I love this POI, man. This is great. Really very well designed player POI. And I'm kind of glad we're doing it at nighttime, too, because, you know, if you're ever going to go through a creepy asylum, you should do it at night, especially in Ravenhurst. Okay, give us something good. I got to check for eye candy back at the house. I know I have some. Oh, look at that. Hot damn. Okay, that's going to replace our, our AK. Very nice tactical assault rifle. And we got a burn mod and a kukri, which we can use to combine to repair this. And a green mag. This is some good loot, you guys. This is some really good loot. Let's grab it. I'll take it. All right, let's see what's inside of here. That's good for selling. I'm going to leave all of that in there for now. I will get it later. We're probably going to leave everything in all these boxes unless, again, I find something that's spectacularly valuable. Okay, Maruski, thank you for hanging out. Really appreciate it. Have a great rest of your Saturday, my dear. And we will see you uh, probably on Tuesday night if you're around. I won't be streaming next Saturday because I'm going to be flying to Vegas with my wife for a little vacation. Nothing in there. We already looked at that. Okay, let's check these boxes. Yeah, we got some good loot out of that, man. Really good stuff. Can't complain. Yeah, isn't it, Victor? It's very nice, isn't it? Uh, we'll take that stuff. Take the seven sixes. We are 11 things over in cumber, so I think we're going to have to pop a steroid. And there's just a shelf there. Right? Yeah. Might as well look in the trash. What the hell, right? President labels lone wolves terrorists. In a televised interview aired last night, the president was asked about the lone wolves and their recent string of attacks on Amacus and Pharmaceuticals. The president called the motorcycle group a group of terrorists and vowed to bring them justice. The lone wolves recently made headlines when they firebombed two of the Mackeson warehouses as well as tried to kidnap Mackeson COO Macabriel. All right. little news action there for you. Okay, let's look at our inventory. So, um... We're not going to keep six pieces of paper. We are going to eat... What's this give us? 25 health. Let's just eat this now. Because um, it'll give us some hydration in health and food. And that frees up a slot. Thought I said I wasn't going to loot these. I guess I looted them after all, didn't I? Can't take me anywhere. Uh, I think we want to keep everything else. So let's go ahead and pop a steroid. And somehow or another, I once again um, inadvertently got rid of my um, uh, mineral water. Damn it. Damn it, Jim. You know what we're going to do is this. Ha, 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 ha. 
Look at that, man. Oh, I love it. Okay, that freed us up a slot, too. Okay, so we uh, we have three open slots now with our steroid and, and 11 minutes on it. So what we're going to do is we got to go to this other side of the room here, and there's a ladder. Oh, boy. We're not done yet, guys. We are not done yet. Whatever the hell's up here, we got to kill it. So let's get uh, this guy ready. Make sure everybody's loaded. Okay, here we go. And it's locked. It is so dark up here, I can't see shit. What? <laughs> What's over there? Oh my god, this is unnerving. Probably vultures, right? Uh, let's hope that's all it is. Of course, there's a there's a boss vulture. He's like called a Diamond Phoenix 666 in this mod, and he is a beast. I don't want to run into him right now. That's just a pile of garbage. Oh, we've got the basement. I forgot about that, guys. We've got the basement. That's where the rest of them are. Okay. Let's just make sure that nothing's on the roof. Okay, the roof is clear. Yeah, we got to do the basement. I forgot all about that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so we found the basement. Uh, let's go down here uh, through this door here. Was there another way we were supposed to get down here? Oh! Oh my god. What was that? I think maybe it was an SI calculation. Okay, the good news is we have a very narrow corridor here to kill stuff in. The bad news is we have a very narrow corridor here and not a lot of maneuverability. E. E. He just popped in right in front of our face. He's just a normal businessman, though. Uh, how come he's not showing up as a red dot? I don't know. Okay, there's a door there and a door there. So I don't think there's any more zombies in this immediate room. So let's deal with this dude first. Now the red dots show up. Oh, shit! Okay, narrow corridor, narrow corridor. Just come right on up the stairs and eat some shotgun. Don't look at me that way, lady. Where did they come from? Oh, okay, so this one was hiding behind the file. They must have been hiding behind the filing cabinet of the desk. Damn. Okay, left or right, you guys? Left or right? Should we go right? Should we go left? Should we go right? Should we go left? I think we'll go left. Always go left. Okay, we got a, just a normal Arlene. Another Zeke showed up. Hey, Deus, what's going on, dude? Uh, the 953 rifle? Is this what you're talking about? Or are you talking about the hunting rifle that we found earlier? Oh, you're talking about this. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for reminding me. Let's, let's uh, switch over to it right now. Um, anything else we can throw out? I know it takes me a while, but I usually get there, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so let's put the AK there. I'm going to take the mods off of this. 
And let's just do um, a comparison of the two, just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so this does 55. It does 12 more damage and also has a faster fire rate and a little more durable. The range of the magazine size is the same. Okay, so we'll put those on there. We have two more mod slots that we can use at some point. And yeah, thanks for reminding me to do that. Completely space it off. Look at this baby, man. Nice. Okay. We're moving up in the world. We got some good weapons here. Okay, so something's over that way. There's a hazmat. Oh, shit. Okay, what's coming? All right, they're just inside of here. Let's... Uh, let's deal with the hazmat guy while he's still trying to break through. Okay, he's dead. We got a Ronnie McDonny here. Not too terribly worried about him. There's that guy there. And this guy here. I'm stuck. Stay down. Love it. All right, let's take, take a look and see what's in these boxes here. These are like the solitary confinement cells, right? Looks like it. With uh, store shelves in them. Because, you know, there's nothing in here that an insane person can hurt themselves with. Okay. There's a dead guy in there. Oh, shit! Uh... Oh! Okay. So we have... three zombs. One of them I think's a cop. We got a spider. Say goodnight, Gracie. Okay. Ah! You guys might think this is cheating, and if you do, you're right. And I'm absolutely not ashamed to do it. <laughs> we still have not cleared this place. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go along the other side. And, uh, okay, these doors are locked. Oh, Lord Almighty. Let's get back just a little bit. Can I, nah, I'm not going to be able to hit it from there. Okay, she's feral too. Is everybody loaded? Frickin' brain worms, man, I'll tell you what. Oh, shit. There you go, Nancy. Uh, alright. She is not feral. Oh, there's some loot in there. All right, we got hazmat. Oh, shit! Hold still so I can shoot you in the head. We still haven't cleared this place. 
My god, how many zombies are in here? Oh, okay, let's check this. We made it through the night, so at least we don't have to worry about runners anymore, unless, of course, they're feral runners. Let's grab that. Uh, you know what? We'll grab this, too. Why not? It goes down further? Oh, okay. That's kind of creepy. All right, let's go this way. Red dots. Can't tell what's in there. That sounds like a copper. It sounds like a copper? Probably is a copper. All right. Hopefully this is the last of them. He's most likely going to break out first, so let's just be ready for him. You know what? I'm going to take one of these just because, you know, it's probably a good idea right now. He's a feral cop, too. I could blow him up. Let's just use a shotgun on him. Oh, you're a military guy. Guess what? I have armor-piercing slugs, so your military armor is not going to save you, buddy. What about you? You're just a darling. This is pretty disgusting, I have to say. Okay. Let's help her out. Oh, she's feral. You coming? Darlene. Oh, you're stuck. That sucks to be you. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Return to Trader. All right. We did it, you guys. Our second tier four cleared at nighttime in Ravenhurst, and we didn't die. Yay us. All right. So let's check these boxes here. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Uh, we don't care about that. I think these um, uh, these medical things, I don't think we can loot those. Uh, we'll take that. We're going to need to pop another steroid, so let's just do it now. So if we break it... Oh, okay. So we just have to break it. All right, let's use the axe to do that. It's going to work a little better. Nothing? Oh, uh, you know what? These might not have anything in them. They usually don't. Well, we'll check them anyway. Okay, don't care about that. All right, so definitely the fat loots are those is the stuff up in the attic. And we did get some good loot uh, from there, too, so I'm not complaining. We'll check this. These don't usually have anything in them anyway, so never mind. Forget what I said. All right, you guys. Um, There's a lot more basic loot, you know, that I can pull out of here. There's just an enormous amount of corpses that I am going to harvest because, you know, we're going to get some good stuff from that. But that's all stuff I can do off camera. So uh, I think I'm going to let you go here. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.